today I would like us to talk about how some people have got a, a knack of saying something that can completely floor us. And yet are delivered with a lovely smile and an innocent gaze and I'm just trying to help, I'm just being helpful. Just wanted to know how I was coming across, how, you know, everything all seems with the lighting and all of that, because I go to a lot of trouble to set things up. You don't really change your clothes very often, do you? This is one of my feel-good blouses at the moment. Interesting out of everything that are on my videos because there's lots and lots and lots of really good um, very good prompts which will help human beings to grow and develop and become and she chooses to comment on what I'm wearing you know I, I felt defensive and hurt and wounded Like when somebody maybe says, oh, how are you doing? I know things have been really hard for you lately. Now, that could come across as, well, they're caring. They want to know how we are. They're letting me know. They're worried about me or whatever. But actually, it could be so much more than that. It can be loaded, loaded with all sorts of ulterior And so we feel it in our body and we get like, uh, what do you mean by that? Why she said that to me? Why is she looking at me with such uh, a sort of put down look in her face? So we pick up the ulterior, but often we don't say anything about it. We leave it. But the bit that I want to talk about is what we do with it, what we do with those attacks, the ulterior, the unspoken. I mean, I could write a book on all the things people have said to me in the ulterior and how painful it's been and how it has basically stolen time from me, my focus from me. It's um, impacted me in such a massive way that I stop what I'm doing. I give up on what I'm doing. And, you know, maybe so many years down the line, I'll come back across that thing and think, oh yeah, I was doing that. I loved that. Why did I stop doing that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was because I always wore the same blouse. And I believe the ulterior, the put down, the, the loaded explosion that they've delivered to us is all about keeping us small keeping us small, watering us down, diluting us, not wanting us to progress or move on or continue with what we're doing. And maybe my ex-colleague, Pia, um, is perhaps a little bit jealous. So, I would like you to really tune in and notice how you feel as people are speaking with you. And if you have one of those moments where you feel like you've been slapped in the face, and although they haven't said it in a direct way, they have said something to you which your body has picked up almost like a slap in the face. I want you to really, really notice those slap in the face moments where you wake up suddenly to a, oh, what happened there? Now, if this person had the guts to say, well, actually, I'm slapping you around the face because I'm jealous.
then I would be able to say, I can help you. I'll help you with this. What is it? What are you struggling with? Actually, I can help you right now. And I would help because that is the kind of person I am. But when they deliver the slap in the face with a nice big smile, pretending to care and love me, and comment about wearing the same old blouse again and again, I am not going to be distracted by that person's drama. And I would like you to really, really stay focused on you and also not be distracted by their drama. Don't let them dilute you down. I've experienced this before as well. As you can see, I really do have quite a big book full of, you know, all these events and experiences. I know this stuff well. So in that moment, they're trying to stop us from doing what we're doing. They're trying to stop you from doing your goddess painting or whatever it is you're doing. Don't let them. Do not let them distract you. Stay focused on you. When you notice somebody slap you in the face because of their anger, jealousy, whatever it is, fear, fear that they're going to lose you probably, I would like you to say to yourself, okay, I'm clearly on the right path here. This really is the right blouse to be wearing, actually, right now. And keep putting that blouse on and keep painting that goddess and keep filling out your art journal and stay on the goddess course and progress and move through this stuff. Don't let them stop you in the tracks. Do not let their jealousy, their envy, spoil or blemish what you're doing. Keep going. It is a signal that you're doing the right thing.